from 13 WREX, your weather authority. This is 13 News at 6. Urgent warning. Governor Pritzker and the Illinois Department of Public Health urge residents to stop the use of vape products. Find out what a local doctor says about the issue. Plus low yields. Family farmers say they're struggling to make ends meet. Find out what they're doing to stay in business. And Imelda Impact, a Loves Park native in Texas, deals with the aftermath of what's now remnants of Imelda, how she braved the storm. Good evening and welcome to the Rockford City Market for a special edition of 13 News at 6. I'm James Stratton. I'm Kristen Crawley. Hard to believe this is the second to last city market for the season. Only an hour and a half left in today's market, too. And it's a special city market. I'm going to let you brag for a minute. All right. So there's a ping pong championship going on down here. It's uh, the North American Olympic trials are coming to Rockford. And they're doing a celebrity ping pong contest. I just won my first round. Yeah. So I'm going for the championship. After the show, you'll have to find out at 10 how I do. But I'm feeling good. Okay. I defeated uh, Representative Maurice West. So he's... Uh, We're dropping names on this show now. <laughs> Absolutely. You're going to okay. see the video anyway. I said, I'm, when I tell people I defeated you, they're going to think I got a seat in politics now. So we're going to have to make it really clear. It was a ping pong championship. So a lot of fun. They're still playing right now. It's like Dan Fellers is going head to head right now. And it uh, should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Later at 10. If you're coming down to City Market, uh, enjoy the beautiful night. The sun is starting to go down now. It's starting to feel a little cooler out here. Yeah. Good night for uh, the second to last City Market. It definitely is. And we'll have a lot more from City Market here tonight. But first, we want to get you to our top stories. Another person is dead in connection with the vaping-related lung disease, bringing the nationwide vaping death total now to eight. Missouri health officials say a man in his 40s died yesterday. More than 500 people nationwide have gotten sick because of vaping-related issues. According to the CDC, that includes one person in Illinois who died. And because of that, the Illinois Department of Public Health says there have been a total of 69 cases due to vaping. And 13 News reporter Richard Bodie explains why the governor is now issuing a warning to all Illinoisans. Richard? Yeah, Kristen and James, earlier today, Governor Pritzker released a statement urging Illinois residents not to vape. The governor has ordered the Illinois Department of Public Health to conduct an investigation to evaluate the effects of vaping. Additionally, Governor Pritzker threw his support behind an outright ban of flavored vaping products. Statistics provided by OSF St. Anthony Medical Center say there's a higher nicotine content in e-cigarettes than both regular cigarettes and cigars combined.